Grand rising, grand rising, grand rising. Rise to the highest fashion, highest to the form. I welcome you into my channel. I welcome you into the subject matter. Before we start anything, I'd like to first bring in the spirits and ancestors and recognize that they're powerful understanding. All praise and love and understanding and understanding to the Most High. Most High, we thank you. We thank you so much for the things that you have given us. That we have allowed ourselves to look at as small, insignificant at times. We thank you for allowing us to be here today to recognize our digressions and frustrations the healing that is necessary that we need today to move forward for a better day we ask the almighty that you allow our hearts to absorb and not only absorb but to extend outside of ourselves in a better fashion so we can see the human race rise rise to a fashion that has not blessed this earth for we don't know how long. But we know it's possible, though many of us have not seen the utopia that many of us dream of. Almighty, with your anointing hand, with the grace that you put over the land, with the light that you display in those of us that Walk with it, using our vessel to spread nothing but love and peace, honor, respect, justice for the weak. We hear, we acknowledge your power. Somebody like myself asked you to work through me. And may I carry the lamp strong. All power to the most high. Thank you for joining. If you're here, then you are somebody that's encouraged to, been encouraged and encouraged and encouraged within yourself and have the wherewithal within yourself to know that we are trying our best to move in fashions in order that serve not only the individual human being, the inner being, but also serve humanity. Because we understand that not everybody's going to come in touch with their inner understanding and recognize that there's layers to you, of you, that operate autonomously, right? Without you even really knowing. You're conscious of it. But when you, when a person like me, I use myself, um, I'm able to recognize the three layers that I function in with myself um, when I'm using them, what is being used, who's using it, and what, i.e. So my outer understanding of myself, knowing the fleshy wants things and wants the senses and the so many senses that it have. So understanding that that's that, that individual, that's a, that part of Sean. And then that inner part that wants a, a real serious understanding of self doesn't want to be manipulated, played with, da 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 da. That's another part of Sean. Um, and then the, being a touch and touched with the spirituality, that's another part of Sean because the spirituality brings my understanding and my connection with the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So, what I would definitely try to do um, here on out with my videos because it's, it's come to my breast that I talk a little fast. So, slowing down and um, allowing myself to articulate in a fashion where people can understand um, is my aim. I'm honored in front of the most high angels and the gods that work the earth, walk the earth, to be in a position and to actually be able to manifest uh, wishes that I in my 
correspondent with the Almighty uh, close to a year ago now. Um, understanding my purpose and been running from my purpose for so long, but it been was made to look at it for what it is and either abide by it, be obedient to it, or continue to suffer the, the human um, consequences of not, of knowing your power, but not using it accordingly, right? So I apologize to my most high for that. But the contract I've uh, signed or allowed myself to um, fully agree with and be indebted to is that no longer will I let my outer understanding, you know, the things that we love, you know, our clothes, our different variety of clothes, and shoes and cars, and money and this and that stuff. I will not allow that stuff to uh, get in the way again of my my mission, my task, my duty. Right? So in that understanding, um, some of the beautiful things that I've been able to witness listen to, absorb, and actually hear is the human race, we are encouraged to, within ourselves, within, with each other, no matter what color, no matter what religion, no matter what description we bring to the table, we are learning as a more evolved human being today how to strip them titles that I just named, along with our religions that we use to communicate with the Most High, which we have a variety of. We're allowing ourselves to be human. The first thing we was when we got down here. Yeah. Today, I would love to tell you who is winning right now in the race. Out of all the races that we have on this planet. Right now, today, one race is winning. Sad to say, so I'm gonna hurt some of y'all feelings. Gonna put some of your races out there in your in your in your feelings, cause you wanna be one number one. You was like, hey, we we running it, we we. Hey, hey. There's a couple of races back there in the back, like man, we, we was about to catch up. What you talking about? <laughs> The ultimate winner of the day is the human race. I'll continue to say it doesn't matter what we talk about, how we, we and I understand, you know, a lot of us live in this rubber house. <laughs> rubber house. So we allow ourselves to throw stones at people that live in glass houses. So at this point in time, we want to throw stones at an individual. And all the things around the person that makes them different and look at them things instead of hearing what comes out the individual's inner core, respect, honor, value, morals, love. Understanding, disagree, but learn to disagree on a healthy level. I send an extended love to inner love and peace to the Jewish community. I 
I've allowed myself to all my life absorb the patterns of their life because understanding, you listen to me fairly well, one was already taught that's your your history, that's your religion, that's your you know we're not new to the Kabbalah, let's put it that way one is not but it takes Courage, love for oneself, the people and the community. For a group of people who are no different than you and I, they just travel in a quiet way, you know. You gotta love that. But I've witnessed them lovingly open up, open arms, no question, and embrace the rhetoric around Kyrie and, and Kanye. Even at this time, you know, one is overwhelmed because you watch people be destructive to themselves. You know, we all have witnessed the patterns around the world, how religion has took us to places that one could never imagine. Even at this time, I feel the heaviness because I know so many people wanted to get here, you know, wanted somebody to say what they feel on their heart and their mind to find a way to lead humanity forward so that we don't destroy ourselves. And even that's okay. The heaviness one feels is coming from the ancestors. You know, we live our lives attributing things to ourselves, um, pushing forward, feeling that it's you, your spirit, your connection with God, and you know, you you walking, you walking with God, and blah. But that's not necessarily so. Your ancestors, our ancestors, and they push through us. They are the in between, the common connection with the Almighty also because Almighty gives them the power to, when we ask, when we pray, when we meditate, when we need energy, power, whatever, who do you think is the tool Almighty uses? You know what I'm saying? Spirit. Spirit never dies. So in that, the feeling we feel today is our ancestors and their spirits thanking us. Thanking us. Loving us. Because they know we have the supreme opportunity Whether it be the ones that were at one point in time the original land dwellers, makers, immigration, 
immigrants that traveled across the, this globe to expand? Will it be the slaves of war, of carnage? And they're happy with us for not <laughs> destroying each other. Real talk. Um, I send an extension thanks to. I tried to make a video. Um, well, I made a video. I don't know if I put it out <laughs> properly, but it was addressing to the uh, Honorable Minister Farrakhan. Um, he talked uh, about a week ago now. Um, people must know um, I have a hard, a high regard for the Honorable Minister Farrakhan because a lot of what I do and what you have seen me do uh, is based off the example that that supreme energy has been consistent For at least 45 years of my life. <laughs> Real talk. Consistent in what means. Consistent in the principles and morals that they teach and follow and walk in. The uplifting of the black woman. The empowerment given to the black woman within the organization. The respect level. The knowledge. The self-awareness. And then the spiritual tone. These are the things and lessons that I was able to get from this long. I self, Lord, and Master. I pay respect and honor to all pastors, ministers who preach love, peace, respect, honor, values, principles, who use their pulpit, their skills to encourage the well being of the human being and not discourage the nature of the human being. to the rabbis, priests, bishops, Pope. I pay respect and regard to you. Because if it wasn't for you, we would not be here today. Balancing between good and evil, allowing humanity to have a chance to get here so we can be a broader more loving, more encouraging, more inclusive. Nature of human being. I think the pain, the people, the praying people, the consciousness of the steadfast godly children the one that at times don't see the light but even though I don't see the light or don't see an end to what I'm going through continue to have the faith and the almighty and the most high send love to those that have the strength the wherewithal to be pinnacles within themselves, their home, their community, 
and extend even further with whatever resource or encouragement that they have within themselves. That's some love to you. Interesting thing that happened to me the other day. I, I, I was almost like it missed. <laughs> I see Medell. <laughs> I was on my TikTok. I guess he knows about little old me. <laughs> Beautiful human being. Beautiful. They tell you everything. They, what you believe. Some things in the Bible, you got to believe. A lot of things in the Bible. You have to understand. Escape yourself to get up under the cover and look up, look under the veil. Devil is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I mean, beautiful. It's like was told. Um, and why wouldn't the devil be beautiful? Because the devil is God's number one angel. Okay. Devil's you. Devil's me. But there's like ranking in the order. You know what I'm saying? Here, there, everywhere. So, I believe I was able to look or had a glimpse at, the, if not the number one devil, she, top 10. <laughs> I can say that, top 10. Um, but beautiful to the point where it was a mannequin, looked like a mannequin, dog, to, to, to start talking. I was like, oh, that's the devil. Sat there 30 minutes when he, he spoke. I ain't speaking to him. You know, you're on TikTok. You know what I mean? um, but my download of it is how I've always allowed myself to walk in my idealism is, you know, we, ooh, the devil, ooh, bad, ooh, ooh. Hmm. Society has perpetuated, you know, propaganda that was just as good as you and me at times. Devil came down here, me, you. And want to do things that way. And was given the power to do things the devil's way. You the rule over earth. God made it. Almighty made it. It was already made. Already did it. For you, us. What we choose to do with it, once again, on us. But there's certain things that God Almighty going to supersede in, get in, you know, and use God's children, whether they didn't stay on the God. Devil's path. When you say, "I'm just gonna be all right, devil God," you were you somewhere else. I, you mm -mm, gonna make this, or you on Godly's path and you helping to keep the devil in check. <laughs> keep walking in. Devil had to show himself, and I understood that. Where there's darkness, where there's light, darkness got to try to find a way. And right now, over America and the world, so many light workers, God's children are trying to spread light. And we're doing it. God loves us for that. Real time. What the most high also love is this. Those that walked in their devilish ways, enjoyed the fruits of the devil. And now we come to a point in time where the, the devil has turned his back on them. What does that mean? What does it mean the devil turned back? You didn't come to, you didn't woke up about yourself. Because at that point in time when you were doing the devilish things and all that stuff, you had no qualms of what God was thinking and all that stuff. But now that you didn't come to a time, time has passed. And now the devil himself that was doing them devil ways got to look in the mirror sometimes. The devil got to slow down. 
the devil wanted to slow down and got to look in the mirror, the devil started thinking. See, the devil gets off the rat wheel too. It gets off sometimes. Hey, let me stop. Because you can't party. It can't party, you know. You party consistently twice about, what, 72 hours before you pass, down, pass out and die or whatever. So the devil got to take a break and none of that and all that kind of stuff. And when you take a break, that consciousness kick in. Mm. So then that godly person into uh, consciousness sits over here. And the devil consciousness, which is you, sits over here. And the devil consciousness kicks in when it slows down, things slow down. See, you consistently, um, hey, going to the club tonight? Yeah, you going to the club tonight. Boom, boom, boom. Get a little sleep, boom, work, go to the club. Next morning, wake up, do the same thing. So you're on the rat wheel. See what I'm talking about? You're doing that. When the devil get tired sometimes, man, 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 we did that about six months straight, man. We're going to do that, man. I'm tired. I got to rest, man. I'm going to sit here. Watch this. Play the game. I'm going to play the little stage game. And then watch this. Who creep in? <laughs> Yo, God lead you. <laughs> Jump right up there. Hey, you know. You know you lied to a girl last night. Told her you wasn't married and all that. What? Conscious, man. Hey, you know. You, you know you shouldn't have sold that crack over there to them kids over there. Uh, a conscious kid. Hey, you know. Uh, you know you shouldn't be beating on your wife, man. Mess with the kids, that like conscious kid. Because you need to slow down. See, when you like this, though, your conscious ain't talking to you. you busy in the busy. You know what I'm On the phone. Hey, in between all them things. When you work with the devil, in between all them things, what the devil going to do? Oh, man. I can't get. I can't keep. His or her attentiveness 24, 72, 48 hours. So what I'm going to do is, take that. Give him one ear. They'll distract themselves in between the times I need them to be distracted doing work for So when you ain't doing your own hooty boo boo ba di ba ba, you on the phone spreading the hooty boo boo ba ba, Facebook, talking about this person, talking about that person, send that off. See how it works? Let me take my superficial pictures and stuff. Let me stand by my car, my porch, da da da, and show how what I got that you don't got. Make you feel jealous, envy, pitiful. Your life pitiful. You ain't got what I got. You ain't got the girl, the car, the house. Mm. That's the devil. Now many would say, I ain't the devil. That's 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 an individual uh showing they got they 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 talent in and they uh they picking themselves up by their bootstraps and uh, all this great analogies we didn't let ourselves to come up with that we know. <laughs> we know, man. We know. You, me, we know. Our hearts know. You know what I'm saying? Our hearts know. So when your heart knows better, it's on you to do better. You know what I'm saying? But once again, we have free will, and on that free will, you dealing with two people directly, you know what I'm saying? Actually three, but two deep people directly that's going to encourage that choice of your free will. See how you get to? And we go back. Who are the two people? The godly Sean and the devilly Sean. And you got the free will, the choice. What you gonna walk? With? Which one you gonna operate with, Sean? You operate with the godly, Sean. 
you get plugged into a source that'll never leave you banded. That'll never leave you distraught. That'll never ever take advantage of you. Source of the Most High. So I said the most high. Show me some folks. They work for the devil. And they just got it good all the time. They they straight all the time. Even on their bad days. Devil like, you good? You, you alright? You eat today? No, you eat today. I'm gonna make sure you get a meal. Got some clothes on your back? I'm gonna make sure you get some clothes on your back. with me. You see how the devil do us? Once he done with you or she and put you out there on them streets and show you in front of everybody homeless and abandoned drunk cracked out this day Devil put his people on display like that. <laughs> See how that How God work. How God work. God work through me and you. God say, Devil, you alive. I won't let Sean Shemmer walk by a homeless person without extending himself. I will not let Sean Shemmer watch a male abuse a woman and a baby. No. Not on my warrior's watch. I work through my warrior, and when he see that, he better jump. I will not allow youth to destroy themselves because they don't know no better. Because they don't have a functional, skilled parent within their household. Nah. Every time you get a chance, you influence, encourage, and set the example. Does mean I'm not flawed? Man, come on, y'all. Just like the rest of us, we flawed. When you put this suit on, over your special, unique self, which is inside of you. Don't go cut yourself up, trying to dissect, analyze yourself and all that stuff. Yeah, it's impossible. You're not gonna be able to see the true you inside of you. Nobody can dissect that, open you up and say, oh, there goes Sean, there go the real Sean. Mm -mm. They can touch the tools and mechanisms and all that stuff, the heart, my gut. My brain dissected and all that. That ain't the. That ain't the inner. That ain't the inner being. That ain't the soul. There's only one that can produce the soul. There's only one that can control the soul. Alhamdulillah, the most high comes from the most high. And that's why the devil stay doing what the devil do. Because the devil want all the power that most high has. 
and will work to get it. That I respect. I mean, you are a child of God, too. And when the children of God pay attention, feel they get bigger, wiser, stronger, more experienced and seasoned, What we do? We won't be in control now. We got this. I got this. I got this. The devil said, I got this. I can do what you do. And God Almighty said, how is that possible? How is that possible that you can do what I do, but yet, Pinocchio, do you know I made you? <laughs> I made you. So who are you to tell me about? other than you get it through the true, transparent, holy, innocent, dedicated, sacrificial lambs. Well, then the ones could care less about what man can give you and love more about what God Almighty can do for me. What a beautiful time it is to be alive. Just because of that quote, son. It's you in. You set the paradigm in the right direction. I came in so many on this channel as I started. And so many felt one was taking a shot. One didn't enjoy or didn't like what they do or who they were. Each and every one of you that pay attention to this video. I love you just as much as I love myself. That's real talk. What you do, how you do it, how you move. The difference with it is, and please listen clearly, I can watch you and I can watch my people, the loving and all that, and have no any, any envy or jealousy or qualm about the success, the glow, whatever it is. Because what makes me feel warm inside is to see another human being happy. Joyful, abundant, and if can be spreading that to others so that the human race is man, we just <laughs> we just cool like that. It's sad that in this time of our lives, we can go to theaters and be so wooed at what we see. Like, wow, man, did you see Wakanda? 
Did you see the new Wakanda? And not have the wherewithal and imagination within our own free thinking, free will mind to say, you know, wow, we're technically savvy. We're far more advanced. We can't say we ain't got enough people. Because we're steady trying to depopulate, right? <laughs> Wakanda should be on us right now. Wakanda should be on us right now. We know this. But instead, we allow ourselves these old traditions and cycles of destruction to continue within our, our paradigm that hinders us from advancing but continues the rat race and cycle of destruction. Solution. We ain't gotta get out and jump out and throw a whole bunch of, hey, throw a billion dollars over here and We'll fake, we'll do this and do and do congregate over here and get here. We ain't gotta do all that. We ain't gotta do all that. Some beautiful people, angels, gods within themselves have designed a technology that at it and we look back 50 years from now when our children look back our grandkids you know, going, priceless this is going to be priceless I want to be part of the humanity that 50 years from now they say this is what saved the human race The human race in 2022 did not allow technology to destroy them. They allowed it to take them even further and save the human race. It won't be part of that. Yeah. Yeah. I made the music. You ain't got to be at nobody's house to parent. We ain't got to be at the schools to help teach. We learn we ain't got to be at the hospital to get healthy. We ain't got to go to the hospital to get healthy. Y'all get what I'm saying? So, why we lying to ourselves? It's what it takes. Sean, can you be honest in front of the camera? Sean, can you be transparent in front of the camera? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ashamed of some of the things you've done in your past? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I'm a human being. That's part of the census. But are you smart enough to know that analyzing, observing, Identifying your past flaws, trials, tribulations. Sean, how old are you? I'm 53. You do realize there's a 10 year old little girl, little boy, 15 year old little girl, little boy, 20 year old little girl, little boy, 30 year old little girl, little boy, 
Fortio, the girl or boy. Did you hear what I said in there? I said the name, the the ages, but I still said little girl, little boy. Because I can attribute it back to Sean. Pay attention. Have you been operating like this all your life, Sean? No, sadly, no. And for that, I apologize. Why not, though? Have you been acting like that? Well, because I was still, I was grown in body, in theory, in concept. But in spiritually, and understanding the total me inside, I remained a little boy for a while. Because I didn't know how to treat women for a while on a level that is highly respectful and not set a destructive pattern for some women. I didn't know how to not be a the worst bystander. Well, at least it ain't me. I wouldn't do that. So yeah, there's things that Sean had to work on getting here that he continues to work on to be here. Not everybody gonna be able to do it. Not everybody is strong enough to overcome their weaknesses. This I understand. But if we encourage enough of us strong ones, the light workers, they're doing what they do with their divine energies, with their imperial understanding, their royal, then we fix the human condition, we, not the president, not kings, ambassadors, prime ministers, the pope, imams, and we can go rabbis, and we go on and on. Humans that allow themselves to say, First, I was a human being. I'm of the human race. Let me fix the human race. Let me employ into the human race. Because once I connect and identify and love on the human race, which stays disconnected at times. It's the human race. But when I do this, it's the human race fighting whatever comes about. <laughs> you want to bring some aliens on? Come on. That's the human race. We got work to do. And we're up for the work. This is failed. Let's work. Love is powerful. The most powerful thing on earth. You and love. The human being and love as its sword. Most powerful. Love you. Continue on. Los High, we thank you so much. We bow down to you, Most High. Today, the human race bow down to the Most High. Yeah. Why? Because you orchestrated all this. 
Oh yeah. One voice, one movement, one understanding, one consciousness, one big picture. I ask and encourage each and every one of you. Man, it start with us. It start with us. My idealism in third. One was the official being on this earth. Looked up to most high. And power was given to you, man. You were glorified, you still glorified today. When they put them obelisk up, that was your phallus, that was the power that the woman had given you. Obelisk mean in the monuments in Washington, D.C. and all over the world when you look, if you look, take a pay attention and look. That was the woman's gift to man and to the Almighty Most High of making and creating. Hmm. Allah. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. So that's why you honor the woman because she is the ultimate creator to Almighty. Almighty's right hand. I know. I know who we say Almighty's right hand is in some sex religion. I get it. But the Almighty, the Almighty's right hand comes from the woman. Woman. Okay. So honoring the woman puts us back in balance. Respecting the woman puts us back in balance. Giving the woman their just due in this world in which we fell short and continue to fall short. If we do this, you will see balance. You want natural disasters and things like that to stop happening to us? Just out the blue? There used to be a time when you can predict these things. Talk to the weather channel. Talk to them. They ain't been able to predict the weather correctly <coughs> for a long time. But we used to do that. Weatherman say back in the day, about 50 years ago, about 40 years ago, weatherman say it's going to rain today. They said they told you last night, yes, the next day it rained. He gave you a time, everything. And wasn't too off. Wasn't too off. Today, uh, uh, we think it's going to rain. We look like it's getting clouds. and uh, 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 Out of touch with nature. Ourselves. <laughs> the most high. The universe. Now we coming back into, come on, synchronicity. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Mess around and get your foot off all the women there. Whoa. Man, we'll win. I'm trying to tell you. We'll win. We'll win. We'll win. And a lot of the things that we got going on in our world today will start to naturally take effect and get on the right course. I promise on everything. We know this. I think a lot of, so many of y'all know this. Right? So, close. Thank you. I thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I thank the most high yeah, for, the, for the opportunity, most definitely. Continue to be the same people we are. All right? Don't feel that you have to take a big burden or heavy load on yourself to make things happen. I was doing that to myself. 
Just take one day at a time and, and, and do the best you can within yourself. Just that itself changing your own inner adjustment in life. You know what I'm saying? With your higher, your higher being, however you want to call it, however you want to operate it. Man, respect to all. Just as long as we're not abusing us, ourselves, our young, our youth, all right? Our world. Makes sense. So, we here. We continue to work. All right? We continue to work. I continue to work. On myself. All right. I just ask a lot of us to, you know, give each other time. You know what I'm saying? Go over the holidays. Best time right now. On the holidays, you know. If you can, do the best you can with your family. Um, rebuilding. Um, revitalizing it. A lot of things has gone on. A lot of things, you know. God, the dust is clear. All right. We all in our feelings now. So just best time, the opportunity to die down the frustration and anger and the irritability that we feel and get to some clarity and if it's a situation that we come to a disagreement but we learn to disagree in a healthy situation and we have to understand it, listen, you got 10,000 <laughs> this is true you got 10,000 to each one of us as twin flame, soulmate, whatever you want to call it that shit, you know so there's 10,000 women out here just for me. Just like there's 10,000 men out there just for you. 10,000 women for him. And him. Hey, that's how that works. I, everything I love, that's how that works. It's just that you, the me, the individual, sit down and get in within yourself so you can attract, magnate some of them 10,000 towards you <laughs> with the help of the most high. Most high gonna help you discern. Okay, yeah, that's one of them. No, that's not one of them, son. There's one of them. There's one. No, nah, son, that's not. You see what I'm saying? He just got. You know what I'm saying? Because the devil gonna throw his little head now. His, his. Nah, nah, that. You see what I'm saying? All right. So, be good to yourself. Cause you being good to yourself. Honest to yourself, loving to yourself. What happens, y'all? Once Sean Shelton hit that door, and I try to accomplish all them things, and maybe I ain't got it, but 50% of it in me. 50% of loving somebody out there who getting no love. Mm. Mm. Maybe I just got 10%. Cause old dude left me, old she left me. Ten percent out there saying it's hot or somebody. Hey, how you doing today, neighbor? Sean, you talking to me? Yeah, how you doing? Today? I'm doing fine. And they go in the house and they get it. Cause man, my neighbor ain't talked to me a long time. I ain't never. <laughs> we just need to love on each other, man. I'm trying. This, this is what I feel. I promise on everything, man. We brighten each other's day because I know me. I get on me. Social media, I look at y'all, man. There's some comedians out there and people out there doing some things, man. And I'll just be like, man, we're the most beautiful creature on this planet. And we don't even get it. We don't even get it. We let people steal our shine, take our shine. Splash water on us so we don't shine. <laughs> we just, we gotta stop. Shine. 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 In the midst of all what you go through, everything that you see, shine. Young people. Older people won't tell you this. Let me tell you something. You 25 below, you 25 and under, I'm going to give you a secret. This really your world. We just a squirrel trying to still get a nut. Don't let that go over your head. That's real talk. Much love. Peace to all out there. Almighty Most High, we ask that you end that war in Russia and recur. I need y'all to help pray that on. Let's go.